This pays off, man, this Prop 47. I feel like a human being again. A new piece of technology meant to help more people like 33-year-old Nathan Miller with a second chance to get jobs and housing by clearing past convictions. I can feel like I can be involved in my community instead of just involved in gangs and going back to jail. Everybody has a past but it shouldn't judge and dictate and haunt them the rest of their life. San Joaquin County District Attorney Tori Verber Salazar says after voters passed Proposition 64 legalizing marijuana, as well as Prop 47, which reduces penalties for some crimes, her office has spent nearly four years working to clear the records of 26,000 people, manually inputting each one. Because of the limitations of the technology that we had, it was a very labor intensive under Prop 47 to move these cases forward. Today, though, Salazar says they found a revolutionary fix at no cost to the county. So we've developed technology that can read conviction data um, uh, in under two minutes, uh, which is pretty exciting. So it reads eligibility, um, it delivers that information to the district attorneys, and then the court records are updated from that data set. Code for America, a philanthropic group focused on creating technology that helps government run better, created a new algorithm to streamline the process. Developers say they can now get through 200,000 lines of conviction data in only 30 seconds. Instead of people having to petition for Proposition 64 related charges to be off their record, that now the district attorneys will be tasked with looking through and, and determining eligibility. Salazar says it's being done automatically, which means if you have past convictions that qualify, you no longer have to petition to get them removed. It's already being done for you. In Stockton, Lena Howland, ABC 10 News.